Hello everyone, welcome to this part 1 video of KSSM Mathematics from 2, Chapter 1, Patterns and Sequences. In this chapter, we are going to learn the concept of patterns and sequences and especially when it involves numbers. So now we are going to look at 1.1 which is patterns and in this subtopic we are going to recognize what are number patterns. So what are patterns? Okay, we see patterns everywhere in our surroundings. If you try to search this in the Google image, we'll find thousands of uh, different patterns here as you can see here. Most of these are formed from repeating geometrical shapes. So before we look into more on number patterns, we try to look at this activity. So given three drawings here, what do you think will be the next drawing? So if we try to analyze the drawings here, you can see that the first one here is one square. And in the second drawing, we have one, two, and three squares. We add three squares. In the next drawing, we add one more, two more, three more to the top to and to both sides of the square. So what do you think is the next drawing? So the answer is this. Okay, we add one more at the top, one more to the left, one more to the right, and you get this, huh? it, regardless of the colors. Okay, so now we are focusing on the shape and the number of squares. So if we try to fill in the information in this um, given table here, where the pattern number, number one refers to, where the pattern number, number one refers to the first drawing, Number two refers to the second drawing. Number three refers to the third. Number four refers to the fourth drawing. What is the number? What are the number of squares in the first drawing? Okay, we have one square, which one. In the second drawing, the number of squares we have one, two, three, four. We have four. In the third, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven. And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 10 squares. So these drawings form a pattern. And from this pattern, it will help us to find the number of squares for the following diagram. Yeah, for the fifth diagram and the sixth diagram, 7 and 8. So what do you think is the number of squares for the fifth, for the sixth, seven, and eight? So from the drawings, you will see that from the first to the second drawing, we are adding one, two, and three. And then from the second to the third, we are adding another one, two, and three squares. Yeah. So you can see that the number of squares, we are always adding three to the previous value. So one plus three, you get four. And four, and from four to seven, you plus three, you get seven. And then 7 plus 3, you get 10. So now I think you know what is the value, what is the number of squares for the fifth drawing. It is by, by adding 3, you get 13. Adding 3, you get 16. Adding 3, you get 19. Adding 3, you get 22. So we don't have to draw the diagram. We, we can find the number of squares by adding 3 because the pattern here is... 8, 3 squares to the previous object. So patterns here are actually a list of numbers or objects arranged based on a rule or a design. So in our previous activities here, the objects arranged are the squares and the numbers here is the numbers of squares. And they are arranged based on the rule. The rule is, is by adding three squares to the previous object. So we try to look at more examples. Example number one here, you can see that we have two, di uh, two dots here. Second diagram, we have four dots. In the third diagram, we have six dots. So what do you think is the fourth diagram? So the answer is eight. So the pattern here is we add two dots to the previous object. Okay, so first we have two dots and then we add two more we add two more we get four we add two more we add six we add two more we get eight how about the next one first we have one square and then we add another square and then we add another square so the fourth object here will be how many squares four squares 
Yeah. So regardless of the color here, yeah. So the pattern here is by adding one square to the previous object. So if we have another object, the fifth object, we'll add another square, it will have five squares. Now, how about this? We have a triangle and then we have a square. We have pentagon. What do you think is the next diagram? So you can see that what is increasing here? The number of sides of the polygon. First, for triangle, we have one, two, three, three sides. And then here we have one, two, three, four. And then here we have one, two, three, four, five. So of course, the next object will have six sides. It will be a hexagon, six-sided polygon. So the pattern here is add one side to the previous object. So this one here, we already have one, two, three, three sides. We add one more, then we have one, two, three, four, four sides. We add one more, we have one, two, three, four, five. And we add one more, we get the last one, which has six sides. Okay, so for the previous examples, we involve more to diagram drawings of the objects. Starting from this example, we try to involve more on numbers, huh? the patterns of, on numbers. So determine the patterns for this following list of numbers. Okay, so you can see from two, then we have five, then we have eight, we have 11. So what do you think is the next number? Okay, and how do you calculate? How do you find the next number? From two to five, actually, we are adding three, right? Two plus three, you get five. So from five to eight, we add three. Five plus three, you get eight. So eight plus three, you get 11. So if we want to find the next number, you take 11 plus three, you get 14. If you plus three, you get 17 and so on. So the pattern here is adding three to the previous number. So the pattern here is add three to the previous number. That's it. We look at more examples. Here we have negative 10 as the first value, first number, and then the second number we have negative five, and then zero, and then five. So what do you think? How do we get from the first number to the second number? Uh, by using any operations of numbers. So the answer is plus five, okay? Negative 10 plus five, you get negative five. Negative five plus five, you get zero. Zero plus five, you get five. Five plus five, you get the next value, the next number, which is 10. And then we have 15 and then we have 20 and so on. So the pattern here is add five to the previous number. So we always add five to the previous number to get the following or the next number. Now, how about this from 13 to three and then from three to negative seven, negative seven to negative 17. So let's see 13 to three we minus 10, right? Yeah, so from 13, if we minus 10, we get 3. If 3, we minus 10, you get negative 7. And negative 7, if we minus 10, you get negative 17. If we want to continue, we minus 10 to the previous number. So negative 17 minus 10, you get negative 27. So the answer here is subtract. Yeah, because minus is subtract 7, uh, sorry, subtract 10 to the previous number number now how about this 2 8 32 so from 2 to 8 the easiest way is oh we eight six right 2 plus 6 you get 8 but then if we take 8 plus 6 you're supposed to get 14 not 32 so it means that at 6 is not the pattern to this list of numbers, uh, to this series of numbers. Okay, because if we take 8 plus 6, you're supposed to get 14, not 32. So means that we are cannot we cannot use adding 6. We have to try other means of ways. So let's try multiply. Okay? From 2 to 8, huh? we multiply by 4, right? 2 times 4, you get 8. And then we try again. 8 times 4, you get 32 which is correct hence the answer for this is multiply 4 to the previous number
So I think you already realized that we can use addition, subtraction, multiplication or division of any numbers in order to find the patterns of a given list of a given series of numbers. Okay, now from 81 to 27, okay? So we can see that the number is decreasing. So if we use minus, we have to take 81 minus 54 to get 27. But then if we minus, if we subtract 54 from 27, you're supposed to get negative 27 for the next value, next number, not 9. So we cannot use subtraction here so when the value decrease usually it's either subtract or you divide by another value so that the value will decrease so 81 divide by what to get 27 81 divide by what values you get 27 so the easiest way to find is you take 20, 81 divide by 27 you get 3 means that 81 divide by 3 you will get 27, okay? 81 divided by 3, you will get 27. In order to check whether division of 3 is the pattern, we try for the rest of the values as well. We take 27 divided by 3, you get 9. Just in case, 9 divided by 3, you get 3. So, division of 3, it is constant here. So, division of 3 is the answer, okay? Okay, right, divide the previous number by 3. More examples here and you can see that now it involves fractions and decimals. So from 2 to 5 over 2, you can see that the values, uh, if you have problems with fractions like this, you can always change it to decimals. Yeah, for those who have problems with fractions, you can use your calculator, you take 5 or divide by 2, you get 2.5. Okay, 5 over 2 is 2.5. So you see the values are increasing from 2 to 2.5, right? Yeah, this is 2.5 here. From 2 to 2.5, the easiest way is to add 2.5 is uh, is to add 0 0.5, right? Or add 1 over 2. Yeah? 2 plus 1 over 2, you get 5 over 2. To check whether this is the pattern, we add 1 over 2 to 5 over 2. And you will get 3 as well. And then if we add 1 over 2 to 3, you get 7 over 2. Hence, adding 1 over 2 to the previous number is the answer. Now we look at G, we have 6.5 becomes 6.0, 5.5, 5 5.0. We can see that the values is decreasing. So from 6.5 to 6.0, we subtract 0 0.5. Okay, so 6.5 uh, minus 0 0.5, you get 6.0. And then 6.0, if we minus 0 0.5, you get 5.5. And then if we minus 5 uh, by 0 0.5 again, you get 5.0. Hence, this is the pattern. Subtract 0 0.5 to the previous number. Okay, here we have more examples. In this example, you are given a series of numbers 3, 8, 13, 18, 23, 48. And you need to identify and state the pattern for the sequence of the odd numbers and the even numbers. So it means that we need to list down all the odd numbers given in this series and we also need to list down the even numbers given in the series and then from these odd numbers, we set the pattern. From these even numbers, we set the pattern. But before that, we try to look at the series of numbers again. You will find that there is three dots here. So this actually means that the number continues from uh, from 3 to 8, 13, 18, 23 and then actually there are still numbers in between 23 and 48. There are still numbers here. So we also need to identify all these numbers in order to identify all the odd numbers given in this series. So the first thing we do here is we list out all the numbers. So here to list out all the numbers, we also need to know how to get these numbers. If you look at the series, from 3 to 8, the easiest way is to add 5, right? 3 plus 5, you get 8. But of course, we need to check. Yeah? 8 plus 5, we get 13. Yes, it's correct. So meaning that the pattern is adding 5. 
13 plus 5, you get 18. 18 plus 5, you get 25. Uh, 23, sorry. 23 plus 5, you get 28, and so on. So we now, the first thing we do, we list out all the values in this series. 23 plus 5, you get 28. 28 plus 5, you get 33. 33 plus 5, you get 38. 38 plus 5, you get 43. 43 plus 5, you get 48. So we stop at these values here. Uh, we start at this last value. And to answer question number one, we need to identify all the odd numbers given in this sequence. So the odd numbers are 3, 13, 23, 33, and 43. So we list this number out and state the pattern for this sequence. Okay, so this pattern here, you can see from 3 to 13, actually we add 10, right? to 3. So 3 plus 10, you get 13. 13 plus 10, you get 23. 23 plus 10, you get 33. Plus 10, you get 43. So hence, the pattern here is at 10 to the previous number. That's it. For question number 2, we need to list out the even numbers. So we have 8, 18, 28, 38, and 48. So we list it out. And also, you'll find that from 8 to 18, we add 10 to 8. You get 18 and then 18 plus 10 you get 28 plus 10 you get 38 plus 10 you get 48. Hence the answer is the same. The answer for the pattern is the same which is adding 10 to the previous numbers as well. For the last example, this is similar to example number 5. Yeah, Also given the, num the series of numbers, again there is some missing in between and Try to identify and set the pattern for the sequence of the odd numbers. So the first thing we do, we list out all the values, all the numbers in, involved. So from 5 to 8, we are adding 3, right? We're adding 3. 5 plus 3 is 8. 8 plus 3 is 11. 11 plus 3 is 14. 14 plus 3 is 17 and so on. So by using the pattern of adding 3, we can list out all the values involved. So 17 plus 3 is 20, 20 plus 3 is 23, 23 plus 3 is 26, 26 plus 3 is 29, 29 plus 3 is 32. We stop here because 32 is the given last number. Next, we list out all the odd numbers. 5, 11, 17, 23, 29. And the pattern here is, you see from 5 to 11, we are actually adding 6, right? 5 plus 6 is 11, 11 plus 6 is 17, 17 plus 6 is 23, so on. So the pattern is at 6 to the previous number. Likewise, for question 2, we list out all the even numbers. 8, 14, 20, 26, and 32. And from 8 to 14, we add 6. 8 plus 6, you get 14. 14 plus 6, you get 26. 26 plus 6, you get, sorry, 20. 20 plus 6, you get 26, and so on. Hence, the pattern is the same, adding 6 to the previous number. So this is the end of the first part video. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you, everyone.